my Citroen DS! Wow! And it's all electric, man! And sucker! Oh! So this is a DS 23 injection electronic key! Oh, auto! I'm gonna tell a little bit about this car, man! Oh! It used to be an injection 2.3 liter, now it's not anymore. Well, what's it now? It's an electric. Ooh. So I have a motor in there and lots of batteries now. Hey, let's show the battery. Show the battery, show the hydrogen. Mm. More batteries. 22 kilowatt hour worth of batteries. Whoa. Look at this monster, man. Wow. All custom made, all made specific for this car. These were specifically made for this car. So hang on, this is a pouch cell, right? Yes, there are a, a 368, 1, 2, 3, 20 amp, 3.2 volt cells in there. Wow, so a one two three cells. So when did you build this car? Uh, about five years ago. Five years ago, like around 2014? 14. Wow! It's been going strong ever since. You designed this frame here yeah. to hold the A123 pouch cell, right? Specifically for the A123. This is the, each, each cell is 20 amps, 3.2 volts. Mm. And there are 360 of them, mix of parallel and series. Mm, to get so, capacity and voltage. Yeah, so we get uh, basically 100 volts. Uh, as you can see, this one is mounted. Mm. And then you can mount as many as you want, one against the other. You put another cell here. And go, do, 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 do. And then you put threaded rod through. You know, it positively locks. Wow! Yeah. So you can have as many as you want in series or in parallel. And then the tabs here, you just put like a, yeah, a bus bar? Yeah, there is bar. an aluminium uh, bar that goes down here, that's locked in. And then it just goes, uh, go, bang, 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 bang. And then this is the bus bar that goes on top. Wow! Man. You designed this in 2014? Yeah. It's pretty cool, man. Because it's all made in China specifically to my specs. To my specs. <laughs> so hang on, so what's your profession? Technically, I'm retired. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur, a businessman in the IT industry for the last 40 years. And IT now got, business? And how you end up doing this thing, man? Well, you know, it's a passion of, of uh, my life to build an electric car, so when I had less work on my hands, I decided to do it. Whoa, danger! High voltage! Woo! Don't touch! <laughs> well, so that's, that's a requirement. It actually is only high 100 volts, so it's not terribly high voltage, but uh, mm. it's a legal requirement to have... Um, some signs. The signs, the orange for high voltage. Yeah. Everything you see orange, orange is high voltage requirements to get Absolutely. a car road legal. Woo. And here is the uh, high voltage, high voltage. This car has a very unique hydraulic system which you have to adapt with a small electric motor, mm. uh, which runs everything, meaning the suspension, the brakes, the power steering. The whole thing runs off this one compressor here, which Whoa. is a seven piston compressor. Wow, and this is just a, it's just a... It's a reservoir. Oh. And that's original, that's what they... It <laughs> looks... tank is the original tank. Wow, well, it looks like someone just fitted something there. <laughs> <laughs> we, well, just for nostalgia, we kept a spark plug in the gearbox. Oh yeah, we got a spark plug there, what's that for? It's just uh, to hold from leaking. The, the, uh, the screw that... that um, <laughs> so the oil doesn't get out. <laughs> it's just blocking the oil. Oh, that's kind of vintage. <laughs> so, what, so what's the deal here? So can you well, see you the have, motor from here? Have a look. There is inboard disc brakes in this car, which was actually wow. launched in 1955. Wow! It has, it has inboard uh, and it has a reverse gearbox <gasps> motor is back there. Wow! So hang on. So the gearbox used to be sitting in front yeah, of the exactly car. Where it is? Uh, it's in the front, and the gear, the engine used to be in the back where the batteries are now. Ah, oh, normally the cars are the other way around, yes. right? So like the engine and the gearbox yes, is closer this there. This is different. This is gearbox clutch engine. <laughs> Can you see the motor from here now? Nah, like, no, no, no. It's buried underneath. It's better than they need the batteries. Ah, all right. So I heard that you can actually lift this car pretty high, right? Yeah, absolutely. And so it's got a pump here. So what happened is, so now that the car is electric, you can hear the noise from the pump, the original pump. But like when you had the car running, this was all like, you know, the noise just blends with the engine running here. So it's pumping. So it's not noisy, man. It's not noisy. Look. That's the pump. Do you just set to lift the car? Yeah, so. Yeah, the pump is turning. I'm just going to keep on filming from here. So the car is going to lift. It's going to take a while because um, the oil had run all the way back. So it's basically pumped. So hang on. So it's suspension, the brakes, the brakes 
and steering. Steering? Power steering. Power steering. 1955, inboard disc brakes. <laughs> uh, but this car is, is 1974. This is the last year they made them, 1974. All right. So hang on, so all the engineering here is from 1950-something? 1950 1955. Wow! They showed it at the Paris Motor Show, and on the spot they got 12,000 orders. First time ever in the history of the motor car. Wow! Look, it's lifting! Oh my god! Show us how smooth the suspension is at the front. Just show us, just a little bit. If I sit here, it will just drop. <laughs> and in a short while, the pump will start, and it will lift it up again. <laughs> That's awesome! When I get up, it will go back, and it will drop back to where it should be. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, this is so It doesn't matter so how much smooth. weight there is in the car, it will always keep the same height. Wow! This is so smooth! So smooth, I can't believe! Wow, man! Show us the inside! Oh, hang on! So here, so every time you actually like a turn left or turn right? The steering, the light, the, these inner lights are steering lights. And this car, is, we haven't linked them up yet. But normally they turn with the steering wheel. So hang on, so when you turn, when you go around the corner, it just it, follows yeah, like... It ching, follows you from ching, one side to the other. Ching, wow. So it's all cable actuated? It's all cable. Wow! That is connected to, uh, to the steering. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Is this the charger here, right? This is a charger. Mm. That's the charger. This is the DC DC converter. There are two of them. So this is basically so people who don't know. So the CDC converter is just bringing battery pack voltage down to 12 volts from to 100 feed. volts to 12 volts to charge the battery. Charge the battery and, and some other car stuff. Keep the 12 volt of the car running. The lights, the various 12 volt uh, um, accessories. Wow! And here is all the. Uh, electrical connectors, uh, high voltage electrical. The junction box. The junction much. box, there is the contactors, everything is in here. Wow, and there's another box there as well. Is that a fuse? It's, uh, I'm not sure, I think it's uh, just a connection. We needed to uh, to uh, extend the cable and we needed to make <laughs> so a this junction. Is in 2014, right? It's hard to remember that perfect. Yes. <laughs> so this is just an emergency thing. So yeah, if anything goes wrong, boom! And it, it uh, breaks the high voltage. So this is a different way to do like the Tesla. So the Tesla's got a little thing that you cut the cable, like the fire brigade just cut the cable. This one you just go, tick, just remove it. Using the big badass Anderson plug here, man. Yeah. So let's show inside of the car, man. So hang on, here we go. Battery room, battery management system. So this is the block mall M8, and we got many, 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 many. This is not the the whole battery. This is just a part of the battery. Yeah, so it's a half of it. The rest is under the back seat. Under the back seat, but we got so much stuff the here. Is full. <laughs> the car is full. Yeah, but we got under the dead seat. It's uh, it's got all the. There's another pack. There's more under under the floor as well. I, oh, I don't remember. No, not under the floor. There's a, there's another. You cannot see another yeah, part. we got some back, stuff here too. Back in the back. Car's packed because he lives in Italy and he's shipping this car to Italy this week. Yeah. <laughs> so we're basically packing everything inside the car and, and see you later. <laughs> Gotta be driving in Italy with yeah. this beauty. At least, at least for the 100th anniversary, which happens later this year for Citroën. Really? So oh, this will be a very unique yeah, car. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's show inside a little bit. I've got to go the other side. Yeah, I'm just trying to understand the sunlight here. Yeah. So let's show inside. Look how you open the door here. So basically, so this is the interior here. Look, it's all nice and red. But yeah, it's a bit faded with the sun in Australia here. But he's going to redo this in uh, red letter. Yes. Like, like red letter sits. Leather, yeah, it would be awesome. Be so beautiful, man. Yeah, so the car needs, you know, it's got a bit of a dust at the moment, but it's going to be it's nice and clean. Storage. Yeah, it's been in storage for one year. Yeah, there's the battery. Right, so this is the battery here. So it's showing at the moment 93 volts here. And the lowest cell is 3.32, the highest is 3.34. So it's pretty balanced, man. Oh, this battery management system actually does a really good job. So show us the display. So it, this is the forward, this is the reverse, yes. this is the Q switch. Heater. No, it's the heater. Heater? Yes, yeah, the heater. Mm. We put an element in the system. For uh, winter, for man. And the misting. It's a nice digital clock here. Yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, it doesn't work. I have to fix it. Ah, oh, man. You're going to talk to some like a uh, collectors, yeah. Citroen collectors. I huh? probably will be able to find it. Yeah. yeah, this is forward and reverse here, these two buttons. Yeah. And this is the start switch. So effectively, to turn it on, it's now on. So that's off. To turn it on, we turn the key as you would normally. You hit, hit the 100 volts to get it going. 
So it's and just a contactor there. And now, and now the contactor. And now the contactor is on and the car is ready to go. Right, so let's just close the lid here and take the car for a spin. Hmm. Let's do it, let's do it. I'll let you do. Got one hand here. Nice, eh? Yeah, electric, you can hear everything in the car now, eh? <laughs> you can hear every noise. <laughs> yeah, suspension noise, bang, you can hear. <laughs> There's no suspension noise. There's no suspension noise in this car, man. This car is the most comfortable car you've ever been in your life. Oh, man. The most comfortable car. My father, when my father was 17, he went to France. And then he said this car was the most comfortable car he's ever been in his whole life. So, <laughs> we just forward. Yeah. I press the accelerator and off we go. Wow. No noise. No noise. Tiny little bit, can you hear? Yeah, you can hear the motors. Tiny little bit. So the regen, it's got a nice strong regen here. Just pull the pull through. Yeah, wow. It's actually. Maybe you'll be able to see. I won't even touch the brake for just a second. <laughs> I'll, show, I'll show what the power of the region is. <laughs> if you hold the. Um, yeah, I'll just let the region happen. Okay. Wow! It stops just on the region. It stops the car. Just the region. Just... Oh, full throttle, full throttle. <laughs> it's so smooth. It's so smooth. It feels like a, it feels like you're on a boat in the water. It's so comfortable. Wow! Seriously, can't feel anything on the road. Oh, this is so smooth. Look the mirror! Yeah. <laughs> if you put it up here because the roof is sl slanting down, you won't see anything, so they had to put it down there. Oh, right! That's so cool! <laughs> Inside a Citroen DS from 1974! And it's electric, man! <laughs> Watch it go! Whoa. This is so good! Hang on, so can you lift the suspension now or now? Okay, so I only notice when it's like it's slow, yeah, right? When, when you're parked and you watch it, look at it. You don't feel it from in here. The car is actually super high at the moment. Wow, it's so quiet. Can't hear anything. Wow. And then we're back at Jeff. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, there's another one over there. <laughs> it's not electric. Yeah, no electric, the petrol version. See, reverse, forward, reverse, and the pump just tops Comes up. In because I'm using the steering. The oh, steering drains a lot of power. All right. So it clicks in more often. Mm. But do you want me to leave it out here? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. At the first time. <laughs> Luxury, eh? So this car was really... So this was the Model S back in the day, right? Yes, this, this is was called the, the Palace, face... which is the... The luxury in model. In a Porsche, it would be a Model S. You know, the Porsche S, Boxster S or wow. Carrera S. This is the top, the AMG version. Wow. So there's another one over there. Let's just, let's just go and... This like... one is called the Safari, the station wagon. Let's go and have a look. So because he was, he's from the Citroen Club. So he kind of understands a lot about Citroen. So it'd be interesting, we're here. So the other car is a bit different. So here, <laughs> see, you can't see the wheels. So this is a luxury style car. This one here? It's a station wagon. Station wagon. Look how different this car looks. It's called the Safari. Safari. From the front, it's the same. Wow. So, but this one, yeah, you have the cut for the rear wheel. Yeah. It, it, there's the much more length between the front and rear wheel in this car. Yeah. And Ooh. the track. On both cars, the rear track is much narrower than the front. Mm. On both cars. Really? Yeah. Whoa. It's completely different inside as well, yeah, right? Because this is not the palace. This is not the top oh, end. Locked, hang this on. This is not the top of the range. So hang on, there's another one here. This is open. Yeah, so this looks more like a like a no, yeah, a standard car. Like no like luxury and all this stuff. Yeah, they look very different inside, eh? They do. Oh, and this yeah. Different seat. Yeah, it's more... This is probably in a better condition. Mine needs a bit of work. <laughs> but yeah, like a very different cars, man. <laughs> look at the back of this. Wow! And look how high the car is at the moment. Super high, man. So now, what happens if you lower down? 
Is that quicker? Whoa! So, yeah, all these gangsters lowering the car, they're missing out, man. They're missing out big time. The Citroën was doing it in 1955. <laughs> <laughs> they're missing out big time. <laughs> all right, man. Thanks, Aldo. Good Thanks, luck Bruno. taking this to Italy. Hopefully, it goes safe in a container and doesn't get any damage. And hopefully, they get in trouble. Oh, batteries. Oh, sea train with the electric power, man. Oh, M sucker. Oh, bye. <laughs> Good on you, Bruno. <laughs>